Welcome back to Crafted Catastrophes. Jill and I decided to let Clay and Mandy off the hook this week so we could share our experiences comparing transparent PETG filament for both Elegoo and Bamboo Lab. We tried to get the Sunloo, but Amazon kept sending the wrong color, so we won't do that again. We've got these two crystal skulls that were modeled after this very large, lifelike stone PLA skull. So your job is gonna be to figure out which one is from Elegoo and which one is from Bamboo Lab. So when you think you have it, just enter in the comments below and see if you're right. And if you ever wonder how different transparent PETG filaments perform and their benefits, then you'll enjoy this. So let's get started. PETG filaments are popular for 3D printing due to better layer adhesion and UV resistance than standard PLA. And as it becomes more popular, it's being more of a demand and we've already felt the strain of finding more from other manufacturers, just as we mentioned. But when you get yours, use it wisely and creatively and it's sure to add that special touch to your prints, just like our dragon here. The average cost can be around $18 and is on par with regular PLA, but you can also find it on sale from time to time. Being that we're comparing both filaments, the cost comparison is surprising with Elegoo coming in at $16.99 and the Bamboo Labs Translucent PETG at $22.99. We prepared a special experiment that we found from Samcraft that was incredibly informative. I'll link his site down below if you want to see an outrageously enormous print farm that we're striving to achieve. We're going to weigh each roll of filament before and after drying to see how much moisture they natively carry. Moisture in your filament can make for a miserable day when 3D printing, so just as important, storing it in a controlled environment is critical. And with that being said, we did a video on how to mitigate humidity, so I'll link it up here for you to watch. We will also post links in the description and also the items we use in this video. So we've got the Elegoo here. Both of these spools have been used already, obviously, because we went ahead and printed the skulls for you. So we're going to weigh them and their dry weight and then their wet weight. Right now, it's at its wet weight before sticking it in the dryer. And it's at a perfect 1,019 grams, if you want to come over here and look at that. And now we have the Pet G from Bamboo Lab and it's wet weight, wet weight comes in at 1,256 grams. So we're gonna stick it in the dryer for about eight hours tonight and we'll get up in the morning and we're gonna weigh them again and see how much weight they've lost. One of our first investments was this filament dryer and uh, if you don't have, have a filament dryer, that's quite all right because another method that you can use to dry your own filament is use your own printer. And what I mean by that is you take your spool and you put it on your printer bed and then you find a, a cup or, or bowl or something to put over top of it that contain heat and put it on at 45 degrees Celsius for six hours. And after that six hours, you're as good as gold. Let's see what they weigh. Uh, we ran these overnight at 50 degrees Celsius. So let's do the bamboo lab first. This one started out at 1,256 grams. We're at six grams less at 1250. All right, and now for the Elegoo. And again, this one started out at 1,019. And we are down to 1,014. All right, well, it looks like Bamboo Labs is wetter by one gram before drying. So you have a point of reference. This is what 11 grams looks like. Now, I haven't seen this to be a problem, but I just find it interesting that it can hold so much and still perform so well. But back to the Pet G printing experience, we use it in conjunction with PLA for certain dragon prints to emulate ice and crystal materials. They just look awesome on these cinder wing 3D dragons and we made enough to add a P1S to our fleet before Christmas. These PETG dragons were snagged up quickly. We love the results of both of these skulls, but there are some slight differences. Although they both printed with X1 carbon printers with the same exact settings, they were not created equally. Again, here they are side by side. So can you guess which one is Elegoo 
And which one is Bamboo Lab? Well, I've stared at these long enough and I've come to the conclusion that we like the Elegoo much more and here's a few reasons why. First, there's less obvious print lines than the Bamboo Lab Pet G. Second, there's a certain glossiness or sheen that stands out over the bamboo. And third, it blends in with the supports a bit better and it makes it slightly more crystal-like. <laughs> I would have to say that we will now be purchasing the Elegoo Transparent for our dragon spines and skulls from now on. And what types of prints might you come up with to print in Transparent Pet G? Let us know in the comments and we'll give it a try. So not only do we feel better for long-term printing, but the quality itself is just a little better for both beginner and seasoned 3D printers. We have had zero errors printing with both filaments, so you'll be happy with whichever one you choose. I'll put the choice on you because filament choice can be affected by a myriad of factors such as temperatures, humidity from your geographical location, room conditions, and of course, printer type. So we're loving the process of 3D printing and we spend most of our time in the studio coming up with new 3D prints and ideas. So having the best filaments for your creation is important. Elegoo is starting to grow on us and even though we are not affiliated whatsoever with this company, we truly love the finished products that it provides. So we hope you gain some more insight and if you have any ideas of videos you might want to see, let us know in the comments. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos from the Crafted Catastrophe crew. And for our next video, we have a special set of items that will resonate with our 3D printing community, so keep an eye out for that. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.